Adams County commissioners have been in a holding pattern with the county treasurer for months now. Now, commissioners have openly wondered if the treasurer is incompetent, and people who trust the treasurer to handle their affairs are coming around to that line of thinking. Here's Denver 7's Bayon Wang. We own multiple properties in Adams County. Those properties have been passed down for three generations in Nancy Chancho's family. Managing them was never an issue until April of last year. I sent in uh, five different checks for property taxes for five different properties. One or two of them were cashed and then the others were not. For months, she would try contacting the Adams County Treasurer's Office where the money was sent for processing. Nobody would answer the phone at the Adams County Treasurer's Office, so I would leave messages never heard back adding insult to injury i noticed that they had added interest and that they marked my accounts delinquent because they had lost my checks and so they figured i hadn't paid when actually i had paid unfortunately chancho wasn't the only one dealing with the same issues at the treasurer's office we have had dozens of similar complaints jim sidelecki is the adams county deputy manager he says those kind of complaints contributed to a lawsuit the county filed in october against county treasurer lisa culpepper alleging she hadn't balanced the county's checkbook since march of 2020 overdue for more than a year. There's $215 million that's not properly accounted for. And because of that, Sidelecki says the state may cut off $2 million in grants from Adams County in the next 12 months. Federal grants may also be in trouble. We actually are in jeopardy now of uh, the reporting to the state, the reporting to the federal government for grant funding, not alleging any malfeasance, just inaccurate and poor bookkeeping. And that might be why people like Chancho had to go through a roller coaster before their property taxes settled. My name is Bayan Wang. I'm a reporter for Denver 7 News. Denver 7 spoke with Culpepper Friday, but was referred to her attorney, who said in part, the treasurer states that she shares the concerns of the taxpayers of Adams County regarding efficient processing of tax payments and record keeping and has been fighting for greater resources. Adams County Board of County Commissioners has withheld these resources over the past several years. Regardless, Chancho says she's delivering her property taxes to the treasurer in person come this April. Bayon Wang, Denver 7.